so hey guys this is vishwajit welcome to my youtube channel so this is going to be a video of my machine learning playlist machine learning project playlist so uh, hopefully you have watched the previous videos if you have not do watch otherwise you won't be able to understand how i came over here so i'm just gonna continue from the previous part where i left off so generally how i go with the machine learning uh, i just don't train a model directly i use cross validation cross validation i imported and i just uh, used linear regression and i just used cross validation on the linear regression and i gave the uh, ta and i gave my data and i gave my target and i have created i want 10 cross validations uh, set and i have used multi threading so that it is able to run fast so if i execute this so i am getting this right so how cross validation is helping me uh, this model is not yet trained properly i should say this is not yet trained but cross validation is is training the model and it is giving me these values but this is not trained yet this is not trained yet right this is just internally it is trading and it is seeing whether how what is the performance of this model so this is the performance of this model i am getting an 86% score 70 87% score so if it is uh, if i am getting a score of 1 that means i am getting the highest score and if i getting a score of 0 that is the lowest score so i am getting around 86 87 84 i should say 86% 87% so i have used linear regression decision trees svm and xgboost so let me execute all of them so here you can see time taken is 1.3 second so i have given this this is a jupiter notebook uh, command so by using this you will to get the time i am using decision trees and i am checking the cross validation score that it has so i can see that this is a little bit better than uh, what linear regression did almost same almost same maybe a little bit better So here in the SVM, you can see I'm getting an almost 97 percent, 97 percent accuracy, 97 percent accuracy. So it's giving me good accuracy in SVM. And if I go with the XGBoost, even here also I'm getting good accuracy, 96, 94, 95, 95. If this value is one, that means I'm getting the highest value. If it is zero, that means I'm getting the lowest value. So 95, 0.95 is a good score. So now I have I have uh, already uh checked with the cross validation which model is performing good i already have a idea that my svm is doing little bit better for example there is the test data now i this is done on the training data right now i need to do on the test data also so i'm just processing the test data so that i can use it in the future so full trans full transformer dot transform see i am using dot transform i am not using fit and transform i am not supposed to use, use fit and transform on my test data so if i do test data so this is the test data that got created now we are going to use this so best model dot detail if i do this is just a dictionary i am using for some internal purpose that i am going to show so here now i am fitting the model see this is the model fitting process i am fitting the model now my model will get fitted and now what i'm going to do i'm going to test on my test data which i processed it over here so linear regression dot predict test data so it is going to predict that test data on predict on my test data and it is going to give me y pred so what i am doing i am doing just a reshape because the data is not in a, like a, in a proper format so i'm just doing a reshape and i'm just using this functionality okay this is what this is my target pipeline dot transform this is my test data so this is my prediction data right and this is my test data so even i have to transform my test data also so that is that is going to become my test target okay it's better if i showcase you in this format let me showcase in this way then it's going to be extremely easy okay so now this is nothing but this is the so this is the test data right 
this is the test data and i'm performing this is the test data x test is there and i'm doing full transform or the transform x test so i'm getting this this is the test data so now i need to do the same thing on my test target so this is the test data and this is the test target i already have done i already pre processed my train data and train target this is the test data and test target right so i am doing the best model details is for internal purpose i am using a dictionary and here i am fitting my linear regression model on my training data right and here what i am doing i am predicting uh, the test data on y pred okay and i am calculating the error this is my prediction that i have made on my data and this is the actual value this is the prediction this is the actual value and i am just using the mean square error and i am calculating the error and i am saving the error in this dictionary so if i do this i am getting an error of this right so likewise i am doing for tree i mean decision trees and svm so let me execute all of them um exe boost now here this dictionary i have uh, created this is actually extremely useful so you can see linear regression is giving me an error of 0.35 decision tree is giving me an error of 0.36 sv uh, uh, svr that is support vector regressor which is svm i mean svm version of regressor it is giving me 0.147 exeboost regressor is giving me a value of 0.19 so i am getting a good value i am getting the lowest error on svr so this dictionary help me in arranging the data so right uh, I, this is the best model so uh, here the best performing model is svr and this is the error so i saved all my data in the dictionary and i use the dictionary just to print it properly so here you can see this is the best model and this is the error just to print it there is no other job so now this is the best model and i'm saving the best model that's it so if i press enter you can see the model is saved and previously i mentioned about a function i swear it is yep this function this generates file names okay so if i come over here you can see this front part this is the this is today's date this is time and this is the file name this is the actually given by me this part uh, best model or tkl so this is this complete name is the file name so to generate this part i have used this function so that if you execute this in the future it is not going to overwrite your uh, best model it is going to create a new file name every time you execute this so if you execute tomorrow it is going to be 10 11 20 22 and some time where you execute so this this is going to be the file name so this is extremely handy if you use a lot of model and you forget which model gave me the best performance so this is going to be a lot a uh, lot helpful even if you want you can just put this error also over here and it will look it will look good actually so i have not done hyperparameter tuning yet but uh, i'm all model is still performing extremely good so i am actually satisfied with the model and i just went with the deployment part so uh, i hope you have liked this machine learning part and in the next video i am going to talk about the deployment part and that is actually going to be a really extremely important part because we have saved many models uh, i have i have uh, let me showcase the model so this is the model that i created just now 911222 this is the this is the machine learning model and these are the pipelines that we need right so there are four actually we don't need four we need actually three but i was simplicity i have just saved all four of them
So hopefully you are able to understand this machine learning part and in the upcoming video I am going to speak about the deployment program. Uh, so thank you for watching. See you in the next video.